within minutes of horror because we're going to talk about an individual in China who saw something on his flight that caused him to panic. When it comes to individuals who saw something on their flight that caused them to panic, that caused them great distress, everybody talks about Tiffany G, but nobody talks about the three other individuals who also had a very similar experience. There was Tom Cowling, the British boxer, who saw something sitting next to him that terrified him so much that he ran to go tell the pilots. But before he could do so, he was tackled by multiple people on this plane, and since then, he has not been seen since. There was a very strange event that took place in Russia on August 9th, a plane set to take off from St. Petersburg to Novosibirsk. A 39-year-old man simply known as Vitaly screamed on his flight yelling, stop the takeoff, stop the takeoff, I'm not kidding. Oddly enough, this man begged the flight crew to stop the plane because three ghosts from the Wagner mercenary group were staring at him. This man was forced off the plane and sent to a mental hospital. Oddly enough, 10 days from the day this event took place, on the same flight path from St. Petersburg to Novosibirsk, a plane crashed, ending the life of the Wagner mercenary group leader, Yevgeny Prignoshin. Did this man have a premonition? Unlike Tiffany G, we have never heard from this man again. Now, there was an individual in China who also had a panic on his flight, who we also have never heard from again, but he may have seen something that correlates with what's going on in the world today. It's no secret that AI, artificial intelligence, humanoid robots are taking the world by storm. China has unveiled blueprints to mass produce humanoid robots by 2025, and the blueprints claim that humanoid robots would be as disruptive as smartphones and will reshape the world. Now, while some may believe that China is only saying this, only talking out their behinds just to show how technologically superior they are to the rest of the world, I do not think this is the case. There are other countries that are pursuing the mass production of humanoid robots as well. For instance, there is a United States-based company called Agility Robotics that is opening a robot factory in Oregon later in 2023, where it plans to build hundreds of its bipedal robots that can walk, crouch, and even carry packages. Other United States companies have already developed impressive humanoid robots, such as Tesla's Optimus Robot and Boston Dynamics' Atlas Robot, which can do backflips. Meanwhile, in South Korea, Hyundai Motor Group acquired robot company Boston Dynamics in a $1.1 billion deal three years ago. But to go back to plane, South Korea is also mass producing what is known as PyBots, AI pilots to fly planes, because they do believe that human pilots are now obsolete. These PyBots can learn to fly any aircraft in the flick of a switch. They have mastered landing planes, and they have also learned how to speak and interact with humans as well. 
on top of that, these Piebots will not look like robots. They will look as human as possible. They will be bipedal. So they do have AI robots, artificial intelligent humanoid robots that can fly a plane, that can land a plane. It is not outside the realm of possibility. They will have AI flight attendants as well. Now this man in China, who like I said, nobody talks about, before he had this panic, before he had this breakdown, before he was yelling, he was stuck in a time loop and this was the sixth cycle, how the plane will crash, how this plane will end up just like the Malaysian Flight 370. He saw something that terrified him. He saw behind the curtain of this plane, a flight attendant that was not human. And he saw other flight attendants changing out this humanoid robot flight attendant's battery. Upon seeing this, this is where this man had this panic attack. He was sent to a professional medical institution to receive further treatment after police claimed his mental state was abnormal and he was never heard from again. This is just such odd and bizarre timing that this man would see this in January and then later on in the year, they are rolling out AI humanoid robots. They are telling us they are mass producing AI humanoid robots that will be ready for 2025. So I am sure they have been testing these AI humanoid robots in public for years now, which is a very scary thought. If they have AI humanoid robots that can master flying, if they are that intelligent, if they are on planes, what's to say these AI humanoid robots are not already living among us? Which in a normal world, in a normal society, that would not be a problem because we can use these robots to assist humanity, just like any other computer. But unfortunately, we do not live in a normal world. We have AI creators like Elon Musk and Jordy Rose, men of science, men who do not believe in God. For them, science has all the answers. But they are calling this technology demonic. They are saying they are summoning the demon. They are saying there's a possibility that these robots could be anti-human. They are saying you're not going to put these entities in a pentagram and throw holy water at it and expect it to do what you say. Do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories. Alarmism about the way this is going to go. But this, these words, demons, doesn't capture the essence of what's happening here. How is that a way to talk about something that should be considered a computer? Something that should be programmed to listen to human command is now considered a being that is superior to you in every way, and it is considered demonic. This Chinese man on this flight, after seeing this AI humanoid robot that was having its batteries changed out, after seeing it, he starts to panic. He calls it a hollow earth inhabitant, and he says how we're going to be slaves to them. Just like the Russian man on his flight who had a premonition of the Wagner Group mercenary leaders plane crashing, did this man have a premonition of artificial intelligence? Because like I said, oddly enough, one of the first jobs these AI robots are going to have are plane pilots, that humanity are going to be slaves to these AIs. These same AIs, like I said, these creators are calling demonic, they are calling demons. They are saying they are better than you in every way, shape and form. We even have a very worried Elon Musk that is installing Neuralink inside people's brains to help combat these same AIs that he is creating. Make that make sense. He states Neuralink at first will help people overcome blindness and paralysis. But the end goal is to help combat AI that may go rogue, that may become anti-human. So my question is, why are these AIs being programmed to be anti-human in the first place? Unless, like Jordy Rose says, unless, like Elon Musk says, these are real demons. And like that Chinese man on that flight saw, will enslave humanity. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.